Okay, let's just do a, a couple of pictures then. So PA Cordal, I can take the pictures, you hang on for the guiding. Right, you ready? Just centre up. Good effect from the, uh, so lots of stents in there, ready? So extensive stents in the native circumflex, and there is, as predicted, severe disease. So rather than taking more pictures, why don't we um, take an angioplasty wire once we've given the heparin? Just give it slowly, I guess, because we're in a... And the vein graft is occluded, isn't it, having been previously stented, yeah. Fantastic. So we've got nice co-registration. So uh, with the aid of the joystick, I'll track ourselves down. Um, so it's interesting. It hasn't quite got the very distal run. Yeah, so I think you have to, where we'd put the X, oh, I it's see. the it's distal guide wire got tip. It. it doesn't have to be the transition point. Okay. You see what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So I you could have put it right at the tip up. if you'd wanted to. But I think yeah. we, we're going to see the areas where the uh, restenosis is anyway. So uh, we'd like to just measure things there. Yeah. Just to see what we'll see what that, that's like at this point. Looking pretty small, 2.0 perhaps. Yeah, 2.4, 2.9, pretty tiny. Um, and then as we come up, uh, I quite like the way you can just sort of look at it on both bo both aspects. You can scroll up the vessel. We can scroll along the longitudinal. Again, section. that's not going to be any bigger than two five, is no. it? No. That's where you. That's kind of where we had the, had the problem. So, even when it gets a little bit bigger, how big is it? Not very. I would have thought. Four point three there. So a little bit bigger. So it's small vessel, isn't it? We're dealing with a small artery. I guess it would be nice to know what the elastic. I mean, there's no major branches, so if we could find a normal bit of vessel to measure. I mean, I think consistently yeah. that's all small. So let's see media to media. Yeah, yeah, let's try and measure that there. So we can see the media. Mm. So I'll just do a diameter f from here, and I think it's about there. And down to there, which is 4.1. So I guess we need to make these stents a bit bigger. Certainly in the mid-segment, and yeah. approximately. Um, this D, I think it's still 2.5. Yeah, so we should maybe start with a so three. That's about there, isn't it? So even, well, 3-0, angiosculpt, I think, or? I think we need angiosculpt to try and make everything bigger, don't we? And a, with a bit more a bit more power to try and expand those stents. So I, mean, I think we could we should use the 3-0 angiosculpt and then take a 3-0 NC. Yeah. We've already used the one balloon, so we can get the angiosculpt down. That's fine, isn't it? Okay, you're sort of happy there? You think yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I think there's a little bit of restenosis between those two little OMs. I'm just going to yep. hit that, uh, might as well. Do a tiny little test. Make sure we're yeah. up to there, yep. Looks a lot better after angioscope. So it'd be nice to take a picture and just show the angiographic appearance. So we've got a great result with angioscope down there. It's still not so quite a little right bit of there, tissue. But I think um, we should take a, a, a non-compliant balloon, shouldn't yeah. we? Do you think we can go as big as 3.5 or 3.25? Your initial one was a 2 0, wasn't it? It's one about a 2.5 NC yeah. uh, in the very bit where it becomes small. Yeah. Um, so 2.5 NC, we've done the 3 0. Take another one post angioscope and then a 3.5 for the main vessel. Yeah. So this is what, so what are you handing me now? This is a 3.5. This is a 3.5, okay, we, we can take it in this order. So we'll start with the 3.5 and then we'll work our way down rather than... Great, could you show us the uh, sync vision screen? Great, and... Um, so I need to go to Ivers. So let's just have a, a quick look at... So it's this bit here, isn't it? Yeah. Well, there, there is stent there. It's just yeah. it's. Uh, it's opened up. It's a kiss, isn't it? It's just a kiss. Amazing. I mean, it's relatively small for the size of the artery, but I 
don't think you really want to put anything into that, do you? Yeah, but it's not the problem, so I guess no. you don't want to kind of interfere with it. Not really, I mean... Um, I mean uh, okay, I'm less good with these dots. Okay, so that's the sort of this area of 4.6, possibly. Possibly I'm undersizing it a little bit. That's probably more like it. Uh, and I think the blue is correct, so it's 5.1, but the osteal circumflex is around the 5.0 mark. <laughs> Maybe it's a bit over over the top there. But so 2.5.10 angioscope decks, yeah. So we're going to use angioscope decks for that distal bit because uh, that was quite stenotic angiographically. There is some tissue there. We've used the 3.0 angioscope more proximally. 3.0 is too big to use at the very distal bit. But I think we need a, a combination of a bit more power and precision, plus we need drug. And it, if we can combine that with a uh, angioscoped X in one device, it's probably uh, effective. And then it's also working, getting out some agent balloons ready. So three, five, twenty, probably. Okay, I'm just going to see where we need to hit on this. Yeah, there's certainly no point. No, just within the stent, I think. Any more distal, yeah, yeah, it's pretty small. Need a bit of GTN, but you can see there's still that. Uh, maybe the yeah. there, and then just we'll actually just use the angioscope section of it to uh, do the that again. The question is whether we, before we actually put the drug in, whether we should just quickly take a two five twenty non-compliant and yeah. just balloon it first. Yeah. Should we just do so that? The drug is our final. Um, yeah. So like the drug's the final bit. So hang on, yeah. just just keep it just like that. Just hang on to it there. Yeah. Just just hold on to it. Don't don't let it get wet. 2520 non compliant, please. We'll just use that first. Maybe the camera could focus in on the angioscope decks. Yeah, yeah. Would you mind just sharing the camera, Charlie? Um, probably I think, you know, we're supposed to do this this order first, so it makes sense. Thank you. And then, yeah, if we, someone could dig out some agent balloons again, 3530, I think. We try and avoid touching the balloons that have drug on to try and make sure the drug gets to the uh, vessel wall. But of course, a lot of the drug gets washed off. I think probably only about 10, 20% gets delivered uh, with most drug coated balloons to the vessel. With paclitaxel, that is. So I think they're pretty good there. Yeah, that's probably good. Yeah. So going up there with, once again, going up slowly, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. Okay, I'm down at 55 seconds, which is... We may as well come back and do yeah, another couple. That looks, so that, that that looks great, good. doesn't it? Yeah. Side branch is open, that's all we wanted to do. So we're just on the fine livers then, and, and then I think we're finished. Uh, we'll, do, uh, we'll do a sync vision. Never mind. Okay, Perfect, good, that's really us. nice. Great, so... Well, looks good to me. Well, I think it looks great. I mean, I, I you know, I, there must be a bit of recall in the artery because down here there's not much you can mm -hmm. do. Um, at this point, we've ballooned that with a 3.5, and yet the artery, sorry, I'll give you yeah. the, the artery yeah. is, is nowhere near. There's nowhere near 3.5. No. Well. <coughs> Struggling with the dots. Uh, so it's 2.4, 2.6. So mm -hmm. I, ju I just think it's recoiling for whatever yeah. reason. Um, we're not really achieving what we want no. to achieve, but no. I think. But I think it's a good result. Yeah. So we'll, we'll do it. We'll do a sign. Do you want to do the sign? Yeah, let's do a sign yeah. out. So, um, Mr. C, uh, angiogram, query proceed, right femoral artery puncture, six French sheath.
uncomplicated. Uh, we found severe restenosis in his native circumflex going into his uh, left posterior lateral branch. Um, we've treated that with balloon angioplasty and drug-coated balloons. Um, I was guided. Uh, we lost one of the OM side branches, which we've rescued. Kissing balloon inflations. Um, excellent final result with TME3 flow into all the branches. Um, he's going to have an angio seal to his right femoral uh, puncture. Um, home tomorrow. Uh, dual antiplatelet therapy long term, I think, for him. I think so, yeah. Okay. Great, well done. Nice case. Thanks, guys. Thank That's you. us done for the day. Thank you. Well done, team.